to China and ne'er bottle of champagne. So I'm looking at someone, call the cops, please. And you're just walking in the middle of this neighborhood? We're Miller Street, and I spot a pizza delivery man, and I call him over. Are the cops around here a lot? Why do you ask? I'm ripping, I'm taking him down. I'm ripping him off. Really? Yeah, here you go, for you. Really? Yeah, take it, go. Go, get out of here. I thought, I thought you saw the cops, you didn't see the cops around, did you? No, uh, Get out of here. I thought, uh, thanks, man. Bye. The family that owned this house was outraged when we showed them the tape. The notion that you could just come in here and charm him with a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne with a big smile on your face and a cigar in your mouth, that's, that's kind of scary. That's real scary. Let's talk about some of the responsibilities of the Neighborhood Watch members. As you know, the Neighborhood Watch provides extra eyes and ears for the police department. Neighborhood Watch does not give citizens any special legal authority. You are not a crime stopper or a police officer. Your responsibility to call the police, report information, not to try to stop criminal activities. Neighborhood Watch members are not permitted to carry any firearms unless authorized to do so by state law. And then all laws must be obeyed. We also discourage mobile patrols. If your group is contemplating the use of mobile patrols, please contact the Crime Prevention Section for more information. Once you and your neighbors have established a Neighborhood Watch group, it is up to the group to establish their activities, including the frequency of group meeting activities and other related issues. The Farmington Hills Police Department will serve as a source of information for your Neighborhood Watch group. We have information available regarding home and personal security, crime statistics information in other Neighborhood Watch groups, possible activities for your group and guest speakers. The police department also has a community policing vehicle available for subdivision activities. Now let's talk further with crime prevention technician Juliet McGlinch about some steps you can take to make your home less of an opportunity for criminal activity. As illustrated in the previous film segment, home break-ins can happen quickly. Criminals are always looking for opportunities. Here are a few ways to target harden your home. Criminals like concealment. They don't want to be seen or heard. Being seen increases the risk of getting caught. Exterior and interior lighting is a cost-effective way to deter criminals. You should have good lighting around the outside of your house. Front and back doors should be well lit and visible to your neighbors. Lighting around windows is also important. Motion activated lights are great for the window area because they illuminate where there is movement in front or near them. Lighting is a good way to deter criminals from approaching your property. It will quickly let criminals know that you are looking out for your property. Using lights set on timers can be very effective as they can be programmed to turn on and off at set times. Timers can serve as a valuable means to light the inside of your home should you be away for an extended period of time. Timers can give the appearance that someone is home. When setting lights, don't overlook your garage. You should be sure that the garage door and any side doors are very well lit. Light fixtures can be obtained at most hardware stores and is relatively inexpensive. Although normally easy to install, we do recommend that you consult an electrical professional. Keep in mind that lighting your street address numbers will make it easier for police or emergency crews to locate your house. Other concealment considerations around your home should include bushes, shrubs, and other landscaping. Improperly planted bushes and shrubs can block the view of your doors or windows and make perfect cover for criminals. Shrubs and bushes should be cut eight to 10 inches from all windows and doors. Privacy fences, while affording the homeowner privacy, can also put criminals at an advantage because it blocks the view of your house from your neighbors. When considering home landscaping, plant roses or other bushes with thorns. The tips of these plants can serve as a sharp deterrent to criminals. Other physical deterrents should be considered as a means to make your home less appealing to would-be criminals. Of utmost importance is the installation of deadbolt locks on all exterior doors. Deadbolt locks should be installed with strike plates using three to four inch screws. These screws will ensure 
that they are driven into the door frame, making your locks more secure. Homes that have glass lights at their front door, most times with this front door configuration, the locking system can only be attached to the door frame, making the front door weak. A door club is recommended for a door such as this. Locks are only effective when they are used. Always lock your doors, even when you're only planning on working in the backyard. Criminals have been known to cut screens and walk into people's home to rob them as they are working in their own backyard. Windows are another place criminals can gain access to your home. All windows should be locked in the summer when you are not at home. With sliding windows, it is advantageous to place a dowel of wood in the window track. Older locks can be easily pried open and a dowel will keep the window from being opened. This technique is also recommended for your sliding door wall. Locking doors and windows is often overlooked, but essential element to prevent crime. Leaving your doors or windows unattended and open for just a few minutes can provide a criminal with a disastrous opportunity. Neighborhood watch participation window decals and street signs also serve as a proven way to deter criminals from your neighborhood and your home. Should a criminal actually get into your home, there are other means to secure your valuables. A secured and unmovable safe is a good place to keep valuables such as jewelry and money. You should secure all firearms in a gun safe or a secured location with gun trigger locks installed on each firearm. Gun locks are available at the Farmington Hills Police Department. Keeping records of your valuables cannot be overemphasized. These records should include the serial number and product description of valuable items. Videotaping and photographs are another way to record valuables. All collectibles like jewelry should be appraised by an appraiser. Whenever possible, valuables should be engraved with your name and phone number as recovered stolen property is often unidentifiable. Engravers are available on loan from the Farmington Hills Police Department Crime Prevention Section. Finally, don't overlook an opportunity to look at your home through the eyes of a criminal. What would you do if you had an opportunity to break into your home? How could you get in? The Farmington Hills Police Department can provide a free residential security survey for interested homeowners. A trained crime prevention technician or officer will walk through your property with you discussing security measures that may need improvement. Security surveys are provided free of charge and are scheduled by appointment only. The Farmington Hills Police Department wants to thank you for your interest in the Neighborhood Watch program. For further information, dial 248 871-2750.